Walk us through the election today. What are we expecting? Well, the LDP has decided on a scaled-down version of the election due to the surprise resignation of Abe, and that vote is being held today. So 394 LDP lawmakers are eligible to vote to choose their new party leader, and local chapters have 141 for a total of 535 contested votes. When it comes to the general election, it will have to be called by October of next year, 2021. And some senior LDP lawmakers have hinted at a snap election after the new PM is elected. Deputy Prime Minister uh, Tara also said that an election may come soon. So we know that uh, Suga is really the continuity candidate when it comes to the economy. What about the international relations side of things? What are the challenges that he potentially faces? Right. Well, unlike Abe, who has a really strong political pedigree and well-versed in diplomacy, Suga has far less experience. He comes from a family of strawberry farmers in northern Japan, has climbed up the ranks since starting his political career as a secretary to a politician. Suga was asked about a foreign policy at the debate on Saturday, and he emphasized the importance of the alliance with the United States. He said with the U.S.-Japan alliance being key, it's important for Japan to get along with other Asian countries, too. And when it comes to China and South Korean relations, both of which have been strained as of late, Suga said he would pursue, quote-unquote, strategic relations through good communication. He may represent continuity in many aspects, but at the same time, he's pushing for reform, right, especially in Japan's telecom industry. What's that about? Yeah, Suga has kept pressure on Japan's telecoms ahead of the elections by standing firm on his push to lower mobile phone carrier fees. That's been a long-standing uh, initiative of his. He said cell phone charges in Japan should be cut by around 40 percent from current levels. In particular, he said he wants the cost of plans with large data packages to come down more. He added that the government should consider charging the carriers more for the use of public radio waves as a way to generate more revenue.